Night game at Kinnick as the Hawkeyes unveiled their all gold alternate unis taken on Penn State. Iowa needing a bounce back performance in this one after putting up just three points against Michigan last week. The Hawkeyes on the losing end of close games the past two years in this particular matchup, each contest coming down to one possession. Torn Young and Tristan Wirfs showing off the uniforms there that the Hawks busted out tonight and the defense was swarming on the opening series. Chauncey Golston. Taken down the Penn State quarterback, one of two sacks on the opening series. Iowa on the move late in the first. Nate Stanley with the screen to Makai Sargent. Sargent picking up 10 to move the chains. Iowa then gets on the board first with a Keith Duncan field goal, 47 yards. And that makes it 3 to nothing. Hawkeyes. Nittany Lions strike in the second, though. Sean Clifford to K.J. Hamler, and he does the rest. Leaping over the pile at the goal line. It's a 22-yard score, and that would make it a 7-3 ball game. Iowa looking for more before the half. Stanley deep to Amir Smith-Marset, and he comes down with it. Hawks in business inside the five, but Penn State holds. So it's another Keith Duncan field goal. That would make it 7-6 Penn State at the break. Iowa still down by a point here late in the third. Big mistake by the Hawks. Tyler Goodson puts the ball on the turf. Penn State would add a field goal, making it 10-6. Same score under six to play, and they would capitalize after a Stanley interception. Noah Kane gets the score. That makes it 17-6. Penn State and Iowa can't get it done tonight. They lose again in this one. 17-12 is the final from Kinnick. Well, Iowa honoring former Hawkeye Brent Greenwood at the halftime tonight. Greenwood played for the Hawkeyes from 2007 to 2010. Shortly after his career with the Hawks ended, Greenwood suffered a heart arrhythmia and has been on the road to recovery since. With the help of former teammates Joe Conklin and Pat Angerer, Greenwood has made significant progress and was able to walk back onto the field at Kinnick today. A special moment for him and the entire Hawkeye country.